award shows have played an important role in shaping Los Angeles and the perception of Hollywood glamour, celebrity culture, measurable wealth, and the economic impact on the city of Los Angeles and the entertainment industry as a whole. The first Academy Awards ceremony took place in 1929 at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. It lasted only 15 minutes and served as more of a decadent private dinner party for industry professionals. The ceremony is put on each year by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences and was originally created as an anti-unionization project to mediate labor disputes on behalf of Hollywood studio owners. The ceremonies continued each year, airing live on broadcast radio until 1953 when the 25th ceremony signified the first televised award show in TV history. The Oscars have played a significant role in establishing the majority of award shows and publicity events, and have helped shape Los Angeles into the glamorous, celebrity-packed Hollywood we know today. Many of the past Oscar venues have become historic Hollywood tourism sites and are visited by millions each year. The red carpet has become a Hollywood staple of glamour and global recognition, but it wasn't until the 1920s that the red carpet and Hollywood became truly synonymous. In 1922, a crimson red carpet was laid down in front of the Egyptian theater for the premiere of Robin Hood, starring Douglas Fairbanks, who later went on to become a founding member and host of the first Academy Awards. The red carpet at a Hollywood movie premiere became one of the few places where the public could catch a glimpse of their favorite movie stars. In 1961, the first red carpet was introduced at the Academy Awards, and in 1964, broadcasters began to film the arrival of the guest on the carpet outside the venue. Today, Red carpets are used for stars to make a grand entrance and showcase themselves in front of the world, and have also become a critical part of the fashion industry. They have influenced the common perception of Hollywood as a glamorous city packed with celebrities everywhere you look, and also serves as a breeding ground to capture the public's fascination with celebrity culture and beauty. Live from Los Angeles, California, it's the MTV Video Music Awards. In the early 70s, there was a shift in the model of award shows, from simply acknowledging one's work in entertainment to becoming forms of entertainment themselves. Shows became more like glorified commercials for the entertainment industry, and television was vital in the success and popularity of them, leading to a war between networks. The American Music Awards were actually first created by ABC after they lost the Grammy Awards to CBS in 1973. Award shows are taken extremely seriously by broadcasters because of the revenue they are likely to generate. ABC makes approximately $80 million in ad revenue for the AMAs, and in comparative terms, with each Oscar the Academy gives away, it earns approximately $1 million in revenue, making the Oscars a machine for printing money. Award shows have a huge economic impact on Hollywood. In 2015, the Grammy Awards gave L.A. County approximately $82 million from incremental spending of out-of-town visitors, wardrobe and limousine rentals, local and state taxes, and more. In fact, the Grammys, Oscars, and Emmys combined benefit some $500 million a year in direct and indirect spending for Los Angeles County. Additionally, the city of Los Angeles makes between $130 million to $650 million from the sale of domestic and international TV rights for the American Music Awards alone. Award shows have completely changed the way Americans perceive wealth. When the Academy Awards were first established, the general public had no knowledge of how much money actors were actually making or what their overall net worth was. Today, there are entire websites devoted to reporting down to the exact million that Tom Cruise makes. So what happened? Well, we as a society have become obsessed with the concept of measurable wealth. In Hollywood, valuation matters, which is why we get so much of it. America especially has become a society that not only wants to emulate the glamorous Hollywood lifestyle, but teaches the public to place the perception of value over actual value. Everyone that tunes into award shows every year gets exposed to a lifestyle that is so far removed from their own that they begin to idealize and place value on a celebrity's life rather than their own. This value placed on measurable wealth presented through award shows directly influences the existing stigma of Los Angeles being home to a superficial and material culture that inevitably shapes the identity of those who live there. Material wealth has become a statute of power, and it can be inferred that award shows have only aided in the manipulation of what we view as valuable. Today, award shows are a lot different than they used to be. The concern for decadence and glamour has continued into most modern shows, but the focus has shifted to create a show that is more entertaining to watch for the public. 
there are a lot more award shows that are not only in Los Angeles, but have expanded to global markets, and most include musical performances from some of the most popular global artists. And here are the all-male nominees. In recent years, there has been an increasing amount of public backlash towards award shows. The lack of diversity in the voting academy, nominees, and winners continues to be extremely white male dominated, and there have been accusations of rigging awards and sexual assault. In 2020, former CEO of the Grammy Awards, Deborah Dugan, was placed on administrative leave just 10 days before the ceremony and she took to the public to expose the show's internal issues. Is the awards process corrupt? It's rigged. What about the allegation that artists have made that it is predominantly white, that the decisions are being made by males? Is that true? It is true. It's predominantly white males that call the shots. He, as the head of the Recording Academy, did have sex with a young woman who would love to get a Grammy. Celebrities are standing up to the injustice through their political acceptance speeches, wearing all black and bringing activists to the Golden Globes in support of the Time's Up movement, and even boycotting and refusing to attend award shows altogether. Los Angeles is historically known as the city of dreamers, and with the rise in political outspokenness against adversity comes a new perception of Hollywood as housing liberal and sort of rebellious celebrities and youth. The red carpet stigma of glamour and perfection places an unrealistic perception of beauty in the minds of millions around the globe and only furthers the stereotype that everyone in Los Angeles is skinny and perfect. This stigma has caused a lot of controversy and backlash against LA and the city has gained a bad reputation for its superficial nature, causing people around the globe to physically alter themselves in order to achieve this impossible idea of beauty that they see in their favorite stars on the red carpet or in one of the many LA-based reality TV shows. Many female stars are speaking out against red carpet models like GlamCam360 and hashtag AskHerMore with the intent to replace the misogyny and unrealistic perception of beauty that is historically seen on the Hollywood carpet. So what does the future look like for award shows in Los Angeles? Well, ratings are at an all-time low and audience members are tired of watching as there are simply too many shows, the telecasts are too long, and they can just go on social media to find out the winners in a matter of minutes. And with the shift to a social media and streaming-dominated world, TV networks are struggling to find ways to engage with their audience members. There is hope for the future, and it seems award shows are beginning to listen to the global demand for diversity and equality. And the Oscar goes to... Parasite. Parasite has six Academy Award nominations and is the first film not in the English language to win Best Picture. The need for change in the industry has never been more demanding, and if award shows continue to focus on diversity and equality, there is a chance for success in the future. And perhaps with this change, the global perception of Hollywood will shift to be less about perfection, wealth, and fame, but rather evolve into a city that represents equality, acceptance, and dreams.